Welcome traders to the final tick mill weekly market outlook for 2022 just as uh, notes and housekeeping the weekly market outlook will return on January the 9th so for the week ahead in terms of the US obviously markets start to wind down for the festive period uh, today we will get December NHAB house market index looking for a 34 versus a 33 last time out Housing market obviously remains under significant and lasting pressure, uh, given the rate path that is projected to uh, potentially terminate above 5% next year in the US. Uh, Tuesday, November housing starts looking for a negative 1.5% versus a negative 4.2% print last time out. Demand is being crimped, obviously, by rising rates. Limiting near-term support for residential construction as well, with building permits expected to come in at negative 1%. Moving to Wednesday, we get November existing home sales, looking for a negative 5.2% print there. And December consumer confidence, looking for a 101. Uh, decline in sales volumes in terms of housing is, uh, is now well entrenched. And rates and inflation offsetting labour market optimism on the consumer confidence front. Then moving to Thursday, Q3 GDP annualized, looking for a 2.9% final estimate there. Obviously, initial jobless claims remaining at very depressed levels, 211k last time out. We will also get the uh, November leading index, looking for a negative 0.4% print there. Growth outlook is clearly deteriorating in the States and regional surveys are showing weakness. And then rounding out the week on Friday, November durable goods, looking for a negative 0.8% print there. Personal income, 0.2%. Personal spending, 0.2%. And the PCE deflator also expected at 0.2% with core also anticipated to come in at 0.2%. The core orders in terms of durable goods pointing to subdued investment spending. And the nominal income growth, uh, surprisingly robust, but inflation pressures are limiting real spending capacity as we head into 2023. Close attention obviously on the core PCE inflation print as tightening pace begins to slow in the US. And then we ran out Friday with December, University of Michigan sentiment, looking for 59.1% final estimate and November ho ho <coughs> new home sales, negative uh, 5.1% return to sizable declines is widely expected as we head into 2023. So from a technical perspective, taking a look at the dollar index, we tested our target zone into that uh, just below the 103 level, found some demand come into the market late last week. I'm looking now for uh, this level to hold, certainly as we uh, test back into the 103.30 zone. Watch for bullish reversal patterns there. Initial target is going to be this trend channel resistance coming in 105.39. At this stage, it would take a loss of that 102.50 to uh, to suggest that uh, the move to the downside is really going to pick up some pace as we head into uh, holiday thinned trading. Moving to the eurozone in terms of data. Um, really quiet this week, uh, Tuesday, December consumer confidence. Confidence is consolidating, but still at historic lows, uh, negative 23.9 last time out. And that really is the only data of note in the Eurozone uh, for this week. Uh, so from a technical perspective, Euro dollar, I'm looking for uh, the resistance at 107.30 to hold now. And we're looking for a corrective move to develop three wave corrections versus the uh, 107 handle. Watch bearish reversal patterns there, and we're looking for a move down into our target of the ascending trend channel support here and weekly projected range support. 104.40s is the target on the downside. Moving to the UK in terms of data, what do we have? Thursday, really, only, uh, only data print of note with Q3. GDP expected to come in at negative 0.2% is the final estimate and markets are anticipating uh, month over month contraction there as the UK is in a technical recession. From a technical perspective in terms of the charts, 
I'm looking for any three wave corrective moves now into the 123.30s. Watch for bearish reversal patterns there to engage on the short side. We're looking for a test of the trend channel support here down towards 120. And then from there, I'll be watching for bullish reversal patterns to re-engage on the long side. But for now, we're anticipating a corrective move to develop. Moving to Japan and the uh, data slate again, pretty light there. Would note that uh, over the weekend and certainly this morning, reports have been picking up regarding a shift in policy in Japan and a move away, potential move away from the yield curve control. This has given a little bit of support to the yen overnight. In terms of data this week, uh, Friday, only data print of note, November CPI. Uh, year over year, looking for a 3.9% up from 3.7% last time out. Price pressures are building, obviously, from that weekend. Uh, but with this shift from the BOJ, we'll see uh, how that impacts the uh, inflation data moving into 2023. From a technical perspective, as resistance holds at 138.10, I'm looking for an extension to the downside, and we're looking for a test of 132.50, 132.00 weekly projected range support. At this stage, um, it will take a close over 138.80 and really the high volume node here at 139.40s to suggest a more meaningful low is in place and a, a, a larger correction could play out. But for now, focus remains on the downside. Moving to Australia in terms of data. RBA minutes are out tomorrow. More color on that December decision is expected. Then on Wednesday, we get the Westpac MI leading index, negative 1.19% last time out, pointing to material loss and momentum as uh, as we head into 2023 down under. And then rounding out the week on Friday, November private sector credit, looking for a 0.5% print there, gradual slowdown really being impacted by those higher rates and the slowing economy down under. From a technical perspective with the Aussie dollar, Looking for a corrective move to play out. I'm ultimately looking for a test of trend channel support and weekly projected range support down to the 65.30. So any three-way corrective move up into this high volume area at the uh, 68 handle. Watch the bearish reversal patterns there to engage on the short side. Looking for a move down to test the corrective downside objective. At this stage, it would take a close back through the 68.90 level to suggest further upside is imminent. And rounding out this week's report, let's just take a quick look at Bitcoin here. Bitcoin under pressure to the back end of last week. Um, and really what I'm looking for now is, is resistance holds at the 17,200. I want to change these around here. I'm looking for a test down into support just below 16,000. And really, I'd want to see a move back through weekly projected range resistance, 17,900, to suggest that we we'll get a further upside extension at this stage. But for now, we're looking at uh, resistance 17,200 to take us down for a test just below 16,000. And that concludes this final weekly market outlook for 2022. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next year, thanks very much.